Oh, hey y'all. Do you like one pipe meals? We sure do. I'm Barrister Billy, and on this episode of Barrister Eats, we're gonna share with you how to make our delicious penne and meatballs. It's serendipitous that I'm wearing a flash shirt today because in a flash, we're gonna be able to take this from the stove to tabletop and have something to eat. So let's grab an apron, some ingredients, and get cooking. All right guys, our penne and meatballs uses some prepared ingredients already. We have a box of penne pasta. This is 16 ounces, so a pound of pasta. We have one cup of heavy cream, four cups of chicken stock, one jar of your favorite pasta sauce. And for this particular recipe, I use frozen meatballs. I have 24 frozen meatballs here. You could use fresh meatballs. If you're gonna use homemade meatballs, you should cook them off to about 90, 95% done before you add them to your pot. So it's a very simple recipe. First thing we're gonna do is get our flame going. All right, we're gonna cook the, we're gonna do about a medium high because we wanna bring things to, to a bowl. So the first thing we do, we add our chicken side to the pot. We're going to add our heavy cream. And then we're gonna pour in our jar of pasta sauce. Again, it doesn't really matter what type of pasta sauce you use, just use your favorite one that you would typically use when you're making spaghetti or something of that nature. You're welcome to make your homemade marinara. That would work as just as well. Uh, but this is a simple recipe, probably about 25 to 30 minutes, so it's great to make when you come home from work, trying to get supper on the table. Uh, very simple there. So let me move these things out of the way. All right, we're going to stir these three ingredients together again. That is our pasta sauce, four cups of chicken stock, and one cup of heavy cream. And once we get that stirred together, we're gonna let it come up to a bowl before we do anything else. Our sauce mixture is just starting to boil uh, a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and add my meatballs very carefully because this is hot. You don't want it to splatter on you because you will get burned. Again, we are using frozen meatballs. We have 24 here. You can add more, you can add less uh, according to your family's taste. So we're going to add these and let them cook in the sauce for four to five minutes before we go to our next step. Our meatballs have had about a five minute head start in our sauce. The next thing we have to do is add our penne pasta. Again, this is 16 ounces or one pound of dry pasta. We're gonna add it very carefully because we don't wanna get splashed and burned. Uh, that's not good, uh, but we'll add this, we'll give it a stir, and then it's going to cook between eight to 10, maybe 12 minutes to thicken up nicely, but we're gonna stir it occasionally in that process. Okay, don't forget to stir the mixture while you are cooking. We're just a little bit over halfway through and it's starting to thicken up a little bit. What we're looking for is for our pasta to cook. It'd be about al dente is good, so it's have a nice little bite and we're looking for the sauce mixture to thicken up as well as the meatballs to be heated through. All right, we're basically done with this dish. Again, once you add the pasta, it's gonna take between eight and 12 minutes for the pasta to cook. Once it gets to the doneness that you like, it's done. We also want our sauce to thicken up. Again, we use 24 frozen meatballs. You can use more or less, depending on what your family likes. You're welcome to use fresh meatballs or homemade meatballs. I just recommend that you cook those before and add those near the end of the sauce. So let me hold this up to the camera so you can kind of see what it looks like. 
Uh, and it's at this point too, the sauce will continue to thicken up. Uh, let it cool just slightly before you eat it, but if you want to put some Parmesan cheese on top of it, that's really good. If you want to chop some fresh basil, you could do that. That's really good with it too. Helps give it a little bit of a clean taste to it. So we're about to plate this and eat it, but before I do that, I should test it. But if only I had a fork. Oh, magic fork. It's gonna be very hot, so I'm gonna be careful here. Try a little bit of this pasta with some sauce. Mm. That's good stuff. Thanks for joining in and watching this episode of Bears Through Eats. Be sure to click that subscribe button so you're notified anytime that we have episodes posted. Be good, y'all.